she ended up doing like nine years in jail for something that she did but like i said that's how god works he always protects me and finds a way y'all i'm just <laughs> What's up everybody welcome back to told by t today i'm giving y'all a reaction to avery joanne it is a story time i spent 90 days in jail let's go ahead and get into it what up my fashion junkies it's your girl avery and today i'm gonna tell y'all why i went to jail so if you've been following the lily and Graham's drama. It did come out that Avery had like a criminal record. <laughs> so it isn't really news. So I know y'all been seeing my mugshot floating around. Yeah, See, like she said. Crazy, my mugshot. Oh my gosh. That's where I clear the L to let you know why you could have even found my mugshot, y'all. I just went through so, so, so much stuff. So much stuff, y'all. Y'all wouldn't even believe. Around that time is the time a lot of us teenagers are Oh, so we getting straight into it. Okay. Where we belong and we smelling ourselves, as my mama would used to say. So I was 17 years old. Me and my mom had a lot of disagreements. So I decided to go stay with somebody that I, that I knew. Her homegirl of mine. She was like, girl, you can kick it here, you know, until you feel like you're ready to go back home. Or however long you need to stay, you're good. So I'm like, well, okay, okay. But I just need you to take me back to my mom's house to get my stuff. When I say my stuff, all my shoes, all my clothes. So you whatever, moving out. Panties, drawers, tampons, whatever it is I needed. License, uh, social security card, birth certificate. I took it all because I just never knew what I was going to need. My homegirl took me. We got the stuff. We went back home. So I probably was at her house, y'all, for probably about four months. I was living with her until some shit happened. Y'all, so time goes by. The editing's not bad. This nigga, the nigga was so dusty. It, he was dusty. She just met him. She brought him home, and he basically was the head of household. And one day, how I don't know. The shit was weird, but if you like it, I love it. I felt like the dude was really weird, y'all. He was super duper weird he used to look at me just do little things and i used to feel very uncomfortable especially at 17 years old and he's probably like 30 so mm -mm. really weird so he agreed so, okay one day my homegirl leaves i think she went to work or something and it was just wait how old is homegirl if I he's 30 house, whatever and like i said i felt very uncomfortable around him so i called one of my homegirls like hey girl come get me the nigga being weird again, like I told you before, pull up on me, come get me. So my homegirl came and got me, was chilling, whatever. So I say about two hours in when I was chilling with my homegirl, my homegirl that I live with called me like, hey, um, why my nigga just told me that you was trying to fuck him? Hold up, wait, what? Your nigga told you what? And I was trying to do what? Nah, 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 not me. I'm like, hold on, wait, what? And then I told my homegirl, like, girl, bring back to the house because I don't know what the fuck going on, but I'm about to go see. So we go back to the house, y'all. And y'all, she did not want to let me back inside the house. She was like, you're not coming in here. You try to talk to my nigga when I was at work and I'm doing all this for you and you gonna go behind my back. I'm like, well, I was so lost, y'all, so confused. Mind you, she even called some extra homegirls over there as if they wanted smoke too. So I'm like, okay, like, if y'all wanna fight me, y'all gonna jump me, then just go ahead and do it. They ain't do it, of course. So in my head, I'm like, oh my God, like, this is irritating me. I'm starting to get real frustrated. What do I do? What do I do? Only op other option I really had, y'all, was to call my mom to come back home so you know that's like the last option when you're out of the house because you're on you're trying to make it seem like to your parents you've got it but you know they know you don't so i called my mom and told her what's going on whatever and of course the mother that i have she came and got me so i would I hope so shit. she's like we're getting your stuff we're getting all of your stuff and i tell you i had so much stuff y'all so much jays forces whatever I, like i said so we went out to the police department which wasn't too far from the girl house because my mom was like well if you want to get your stuff and she's doing all this she's not just gonna let you walk in Avery, so we want to get some escorts so my mom okay. got to escort a police to come escort us to go get my stuff so we pull up with the police officer and 
the girl is just being extremely you gotta be real careful when you let people stay in your house because you just never know like y'all can watch that show roommates on netflix just for a taste of what could happen but as soon as somebody is getting mail to your place or they know how to work the system. You just never know. Like you might not be able to get rid of somebody. You might have your name, you know, tied up in a business now that you've been staying there. People come in and out of the house like creepy, man. You just never know. She just going off, acting crazy. Like she not getting her stuff back. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna throw her stuff in the fire. I'm and some people don't give a fuck about the police. Back. And I'm like, wait, what? Nah, just give my stuff back. Cause at this point you just look like you wanna keep my stuff. First of all, I knew she wasn't throwing nothing in the fire, y'all, because we were the same size. She wanted all my stuff, just say that, cool, whatever. At the end of the day, y'all, no, I did not get my stuff, but I did go back home to my mom's. It was really, really had me mad. The police officer was like, ma'am, we can't let you in. If you're not on the lease, this and third, he was making me mad. I was like, why do we See, but then it also depends because sometimes you don't even need mail. They just need to see like stuff that's yours and they'll be like, okay, you live here. It really just depends on where you're at and what the laws are because people can fuck you up out here. Like, be careful with that letting people stay at your crib or staying in somebody's okay. crib shit. Sure. And I'm chilling. I call my home girl one day. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I was about to say, what does this have to do with jail? I call my home girl like, hey girl, what you doing? Blah, blah, blah. We just lollygagging on the phone, chopping stuff up. As I'm on the phone with her, I get a knock on the door. So I open the door and it's a police officer. I'm like, hey, how are you? He was like, hey, yes, I'm looking for Avery Brooks. I'm like, Me? He's like, I'm looking for Avery Brooks. I'm like, well, I'm Avery Brooks. He was like, well, man, we have a warrant out for your arrest. I'm going to come here to come get you, come pick you up. I'm like, hold on, wait, what? I got a warrant out for my arrest? Wait, 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 what? He's like, you got a warrant out for your arrest. You need to come with me. Y'all, when I tell you this police officer was being so freaking rude to me, he was being so rude to me. Like, sir. Relax, let me get my thoughts together. You just came to my house. I'm trying to regroup. So I had to put on my shoes. He wouldn't let me call my mom or nothing, y'all. That's how rude he was being. I even had to be my mom's door unlocked. So he didn't let me grab the key to lock the door. So anyways, he finally came to his senses because I'm in the car like, sir, like begging him, y'all. Can you please, please tell me why you're locking me up? Like, what did I do? He's like, okay, ma'am, you have a, a warrant out for shoplifting. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, what? Shoplifting. He was like, yes, you had a court date on such and such day and you didn't show up for the appearance, so now you have a warrant out. I said, court date? Wait, what? I never shoplifted. I never did none of that. So I'm just riding on the way to the jail, just so confused in the back. See, like, what? Are you sure? I'm starting to think, like, did I steal something? Did I take something? Like, at this point, you're just trying to know what's really going on, y'all. So, I mean, you I know if you shit, stole some mom, shit. Like, mom, she's like, what do you do? What did you do? What did you do? You know, I'm like, hold on, really, really. I didn't do nothing. So I told her, she was like, okay, okay, okay. So she calmed down, like, okay, we're going to figure this out. So, Did she use your ID? She gave your ID to the, to the ops when she got caught up stealing? I mean, the judge told me that I had to do 90 days in Lexington County Jail. 17 years old, had to do 90 days in Lexington County Jail for something. I don't even know what the heck is going on here. Can somebody tell me something? Please, please, please. So time goes by. When I was in this uh, jail, y'all, I used to call my mom almost every day. Like, what are you doing? Like, she'll talk to me, of course. So it was just this one particular day, y'all. That's that a mess. I called my mom and the tone of her voice. She was waiting for me to call her. She's like, angry, angry, angry. I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, what's going on? Like, I'm like, calm down. You okay? Wait, but you just went to jail knowing that you ain't steal nothing? I, I would have put up some fight. Like, no, I didn't steal this. Y'all got to figure out what's really going on because I didn't do this. I didn't do what y'all said y'all do. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Like, ain't they supposed to provide proof that you did what you did? What was that whole part? She was like, no, me and your aunt are doing some research. I'm not sitting in jail for... So, and come to find out, we found a the mugshot of why you're in jail. Y'all, why is it the girl I was staying with picture with all my information at the bottom of it? <laughs> 
y'all when I tell you that was the creepiest thing. It brought chills through my body because I know I still had to do like 35 more days in there. And I was so confused. And I was like, so this girl, oh no, wait, what? Huh? Then I thought like, yo, I left my ID over there. I left my birth certificate. I left my social. This girl got caught careful. stealing, used my ID, went to jail underneath my name so it doesn't fall back on her. So the next morning after I got the call on mom, the CO brings me my paperwork for my case. So as I'm looking over my case and stuff like that, I see an address that's not my address. Like that was the address that I was staying at with the girl. So I'm like, oh, nah, sis took my identity. She took my identity, this ain't right. I'm talking to other like cellmates and stuff like that. And they like, yeah, like that ain't right. Something not right with that, you need to check into it. So let me just fast forward a little bit y'all. I'm not gonna write too much. So, time went by, whatever, I finally got out of jail. Y'all, when I tell y'all that girl took my identity and that shit fucked me up because I was in there for 90 days for something that I did not do, that was the craziest shit that I probably almost ever experienced in my life. It was just, I think the crazy thing also was that my mom was so worried about me more getting out that we didn't even go further with the case of why I was even in there. Cause I really could be probably a millionaire by now. Cause I sat in jail for something that I did not do. And that was just beyond me, beyond me. So let me tell y'all, so it had to be like six years prior after that y'all. Why I saw the girl in the mob. Y'all, when I tell y'all, she walked up and said, hey sis. When I tell y'all showed my behind in that mall y'all, they had to call security, everything, because she played with me. Hey, sis, you got me so fucked up. Nah, don't hey, sis, me. That's that's not it. <laughs> so, yeah, I showed, my, I showed my ass in the mall, y'all. I did. Because only because I felt like I had to, because that was way beyond something that anybody should have done to me. And that was really messed up. But I come to find out she ended up doing like nine years in jail for something that she did. But like I said, that's how God works. He always protects me and finds a way. Y'all, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a criminal. So while my mugshot is floating around when I was 17 years old, this is why. Because somebody wanted to be me and couldn't handle their own responsibilities of or their actions of the stuff that they've done. You know what I'm saying? That was really messed up. And it makes me so mad because that's, me that and my sucks. mom should have went further with this case. Hmm. Can I still go further with this case, y'all? If y'all know, let me know right down below. Give me some tea so maybe I could go forward with this. Or is it too late? I don't know. This was a spicy story of clearing the air story. This is a story that needs to be told. So yeah. But y'all, this is my story time. And I just want to say thank you for watching. So make sure y'all go thumb this video up. Make sure y'all go tell a friend to tell a friend to watch your girl Avery Joanna. And I love y'all. Bye. Down below in the comment section, make sure y'all talk to me. I do talk back, like, comment, subscribe, show the original channel some love, show the reaction some love if you enjoyed today's video, and I will check y'all out in the next one.